Hello chess family, it's me National Master, Jesse James, and today I'm going to be playing against the robots again. Here we go, playing against chess.com bots, and well, in this one I'm going to be playing against um, Devin over here, 1600, looks like he is from Jamaica, and uh, well, let's get this game started. Pawn to F4, the bird's opening. Awesome, he says I'm going to come for you at the start. Okay, well, that sounds good to me. I actually have a nice little system here against the bird's opening, so... Let's go ahead and get started with this one. Um, let's see, how do I start this? The system I have in my head, but how do I do the first move? I'll go ahead and start off with C5 right here. This is a nice positional way to play against it. It's almost like playing against the... Uh, oh gosh, already it's mixed up here because now he played pawn to b4. Um, so I guess I can transfer to a dragon here. Okay, Sicilian uh, accelerated dragon, so bishop g7, knight c3. Wow, the system changed so fast over here. Queen f3. Definitely a little too aggressive here. Knight c6 here, knight d4. You have to be careful. Even though these moves are looking very logical, they can definitely strike back against you pretty fast. <sighs> so hard to not play knight d4 here right away, and I, I, I can't help it. I have to play knight to d4 here. I'm hoping for maybe like a queen to e4 move. Oh, that, that would have been nice. Um, well, too many uh, queen moves in the opening, so let's go ahead and break the center. Let's go pawn d6. This is where the central square is, and hmm. So here I can already win a pawn with knight takes, pawn takes over here. And is right now the time to go pawn grabbing? That's really a question I have for myself. Hmm. There's some bishop b5 checks over here, bishop c4, and the future threatening checkmate. Hmm. Because after knight takes, they're most likely going to go ahead and play. After knight takes, they're going to take back with the queen. Oh, you know what? How about this? I play bishop g4. No, I don't want to take here because then the bishop comes over here. If I take on e5, the knight can take, which, believe it or not, would actually be kind of good for me. Knight takes. Eh. You know what? After all this calculation, I'm going to do what I usually do in these situations. Just develop a piece. Let's go knight h6. <laughs> There's, uh, I, I don't want to take here and help him develop his uh, queen. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and castle. Now I do not mind going into let's start cleaning off the board uh oh and that is quite a move to play your queen d2 again i don't know this this is a very interesting computer to play i'm pretty sure now i can just take the pawn and uh we're gonna do this correctly if you calculate you'll see that it's like knight takes pawn takes and if you take on e5 they actually play f4 here and you can't take on e5 anymore right so here let's well first of all let's let's give this a weakness so knight takes f3 check uh, I'll get out of this one, Devin says, and then I'm going to go knight to f5 here. And then I'll take a look about taking on e5, because I can't take on e5 because the knight would hang anyway. So knight f5 right here. Now I'm going to take on e5 now. Here he tries to stop me. Knight to d4, perfect timing right here. And uh, okay, now I can go uh, pawn grabbing here. Pawn takes, and then bishop takes there. Perfect. And I will set up a little tactical trap with this bishop to f6 here. Here you see the idea is knight to f3 check. So the idea here, and well, I got lucky here, it looks like he fell for it, is bishop to h4. And here, if the queen takes, the knight takes in check here. So yeah, I'll take the queen, bishop to h4. And yep, oh, and see here, they didn't even play the best line. They should have just played bishop takes on d4. So after pawn takes, the queen, um, the bishop can just take back here and you win two pieces. That's okay. I forgive them for playing the uh, the worst move. All right, knight f3 check. I'll get out of this one, he says. Knight takes on h4. Uh, goodbye, my lady. <laughs> Everyone's always sad about losing the lady. Knight takes. Ah, this should be easy now. Knight takes here. King takes. Pawn b6. We're going to get our last piece into the game. I defended my pawn over here. Let's go bishop b7. Bishop on the long diagonal makes sense to me. I do like this f5, e5 idea. Hmm. I'm trying to, I want to get my rook into the game now. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do this f f5 idea. Let's go f5 here and maybe e5. The idea is maybe to play f4. And can I just go queen d6 to prepare f4? I did give myself a backwards pawn here, so this could be a problem. You know what? Let's go rook e8 and then and then e5 here. There we go. I like this idea. I'm a little hesitant 
Oh, okay, so I can go queen d4 check. I'm just a little hesitant to play the queen to d6 or c7, just because the knight can come to b5 here. Um, although, you know what? This would actually be really good for me, because if they do do that, then I can get my queen to the light squares. And you can see, if I get my queen over here, the light squares are very weak. So you know what? Let's start with queen d4 check. I think that's best. Queen d4 check. Uh, bishop e3, perfect. I want the bishop back here because now I can play e5 easier with queen to d6. Knight b5, perfect. Double attack here. Queen c6. And now I have the queen coming in. Ooh, this is actually a checkmate. Yeah. Dang. Sometimes I impress myself. That's going to be my quote. Queen takes on b5. And now let's open this game up with pawn to e5. And here it doesn't matter. What's, uh, we're going to be attacking either way. Queen back to c6. Let's get this queen in there, and let's see. Pawn takes looks good. Hmm, I can't break through just yet. Undefended rook, though, undefended bishop. Queen to f6, but the real idea is to go queen d4 check. And eh, let's get more pieces. Uh, let's just make some trades. Rook takes. Rook check. And... Hmm, is queen a1 the move? I think it is. Here threatens the queen a uh, e1 checkmate. Queen d4 is not too bad, but then they'll play this bishop back to e3. I think if I play the queen to a1, they'll play rook e3 here. And again, I'm not too worried about the check, so... I don't see... Yeah, see, they play rook e3. And eh, we'll just trade. The game should look... Uh, the game just looks easier and easier. Queen back to e5, but the real idea is to try and push the pawn forward. All right, let's push her forward. And h6, g5. Here we go. Let's get these past pawns going. Yeah, I'm just going to push forward here nice and slow. I, I, I mean, I could probably be a little bit more aggressive with this, but I think this is just fine. Uh, typically, obviously, a human would resign, but since we're playing against computer, this will not be happening. And covering the checkmate squares, but let's go g3 and then f3, f2. So I'll get my uh, second queen over here, and then the checkmate will and be just in a few moves here. I'm kind of, yeah, they're going to play there, right? So queen f3 check. Now, yeah, the king has to go there. If they had gone to f1, then g2 is checkmate. So let's make a new queen. Checkmate is now inevitable. Inevitable. Let's see. Checkmate in one, two, three moves. Is that correct? One, two, because there's no checkmate in one here. And then three. All right. There we go. Uh, you know, Devin was definitely the highest spot I played up until now with 1600. Uh, did not seem to be too bad, and uh, well, he says, "Whoa, I let that one get away from me." Well, well played. Want to go again? Uh, not this time, Devin. Maybe another time. I'm looking forward to uh, the next game. I'll be playing against a 2,000 bot, so I think that's definitely going to be a, a, a harder game for me. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you in the next video. <laughs>